Hi everybody, this is Linda Dunbar. I am recording this the day after I actually made the Sweet Land of Liberty block. It's such a teeny tiny little block, uh, but I wanted to give you a couple of notes before you watch the video. First, thank you to Kristen uh, Psalm who has done all of these videos in the past. I'm just stepping in momentarily. Kristen, we wish you the best and, and um, we are praying for you. So I wanted to say you want to have the instructions open by your side as well as watching the video at the same time if you want. I may have missed a couple of steps and I may not have been able to put the audio narration in. So uh, it's still in the editing process right now. I hope to get it uploaded quickly. Uh, but anyway, I wanted you to have both the book open if you're watching the video uh, because my video editing, editing skills or my video taking skills were rustier than I thought. There were times that I thought I was taking video and I wasn't. So with that said, uh, please be gentle with me and um, enjoy the process of stitching along Sweet Land of Liberty block one. I'm going to just jump in and do a video for the very first block of the Sweet Land of Liberty 22 by 20 inch pillow. I'm just filming this on my phone in the selfie mode, so I don't even know where to look. So what we're going to do is the Sweet Land of Liberty, and I've downloaded it. I will tell you, I do not have a color printer, so everything gets printed in black and white. So Sweet Land of Liberty pillow, we're going to get started on block one. And block one is the Sweet Land of Liberty um, block up here. It is very uh, a very simple block. If you've got the kit from your girlfriend's quilt shop, the background is white with a red dot. And um, I did not, I wasn't even planning on doing this project. I'm just kind of jumping in there. So I found uh, from a previous Kimberbell project, I found this hound's tooth that's probably just big enough um, to do this quilt or this block sorry about that so the block um, is going to have the sweet land background which again is the white with red dot and it is going to be cut eight and a half by eight and a half and I'm getting ready to do that and I will back it with SF 101 and um, we will uh, uh, upload that design into our sewing machine next. Has anybody ever had this problem where you go to find something in your sewing space or your embroidery space and you cannot find it? I've got that problem today. I went to iron on SF 101 to my very first block and I can't find my SF 101. So I have drawers full of um, things like that organized into bins. And I can usually put my hands right on it, but I think I may have used all of my SF-101 on spring showers. So um, guess what I need to do? Yes, go to the store and get SF-101. Here's the stash that I'm probably going to be pulling some of my um, fabrics for this pillow from. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing this, as I mentioned, uh, so I don't have the fabric kit. So I'd had these uh, fat quarters uh, in a 4th of July theme for a while. I had this and another fat quarter bundle I got from a um, fabric store online. And then this was the fabrics I got from my local quilt shop when I did uh, the July bench pillow. Um, and I've just got leftovers of that. So that's what I'm going to um, do for this 22-inch square pillow. First, I'm going to load my design. I've got my USB stick in. Um, I am using a Foff, not a Brother like Kristen does, so just know that this is going to look different according to your machine. Um, so we're going to just pull up the design. If you are doing the background quilting. Now is when you will load that file. 
you will need a hoop larger than the file calls for. So this file, Sweet Land of Liberty, I can get in a magnetic hoop that's 180 by 130. That's what I have, and that's what I'm going to use because I'm not choosing to do any background quilting. Um, I'm either going to use this as an actual pillow or use it as a wall hanging, and uh, I'm going to take the quickest method to um, complete this project. My quickest method is not to pre-cut anything, so that differs from a lot of other people who like to have everything ready to go. But I just wanted to let you know that this is a tutorial that's meant to inspire and um, motivate us and not a replacement for Kristen's uh, thorough videos. So anyway, I'm going to upload Sweet Land of Liberty. And here we go. I've already selected my hoop size, the creative metal hoop, and I'm going to click my go button and stitch out. And again, I am not using the background quilting. I am just using the text file that Kimberbell provides for this project. I have my eight and a half by eight and a half piece of fabric here, and it is backed with um, SF 101. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Because I'm not using the background quilting and the first step in the Kimberbell block is um, directly onto the fabric, what I'm going to do on my machine is tell it to baste around the design so that I can t decide where to put my fabric. And then I'm going to baste again around my design using my machine functions that are available to me so that I can tack down my fabric. to place my fabric and if you just started watching this video in the middle of it I'm just going to make sure you know that I am not doing the background quilting on this block Probably, I'm actually not going to do background quilting on any of these blocks because I'm going to do it as quickly as I can get it done. All right, here's my baste function, and I'm going to be basting down uh, one more time. Around the design. So this is how my machine handles it. Now that I have loaded the embroidery file into my machine and I'm ready to stitch out, I will stitch the fuse detail, step one. And as you can see here in this photo, I've used red metallic for the fuse. The next stitch is this one. It is the swirl detail. And I used a red metallic here. I thought I had video of this step on as it was stitching out on my machine, but it turns out I didn't. The large star, uh, basically you place the place the tack this placement stitch 
you put your red leather down, then you do your tack down and trim, and then you do your decorative outline. Here is what the leather looks like if you're using the embellishment kit leather. The next step five will be to stitch the large star decorative outline. Because my red thread blends in so well with that red glitter sheet that I used, I'm going to use a metallic gold to do the star decorative outline. The next step is to stitch out the decorative outline. If you're using the embellishment kit and the gold leather, you will use probably a gold thread to use the do, do the outline. <clears throat> I have chosen to go with the red glitter that was a remnant I had from another Kimberbell project. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wasn't planning on doing this project to begin with, and I just want to jump in and um, motivate. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stitch out a metallic gold thread as the outline. I'm getting really creative here with my threads and, and um, other materials. The next step, which is six on your machine, nine in Kimberbell's instructions, is to stitch the small star placement line. After that, you'll place the fabric right side up. I used glitter here. Uh, the fabric kit that came from the sponsor is a gold fabric. Then you'll stitch the small star tack down line. After that, you'll trim the fabric close to the stitch line. The next step is to stitch out the decorative outline on this star. You're going to be using the gold fabric if you're using the kit from our sponsor. And you would be choosing the thread color that you're going to make the outline with. Because I did this star in red with a gold outline, I'm doing this one in gold with a red outline. Did I say that right? <laughs> To start with, with a gold outline, I'm going to do a red outline here. Our next step is to stitch out the sparklers from the firecracker. The next step is to stitch out with thread the star, which is the dot over the word liberty, and the one below that. I'm choosing gold metallic for this. Okay, it's stitched down the first star, and now we're going to go to the next star. There's a stop in that programming, so it allows you to change the thread color if you want two different colors for the stars. The next step is to stitch out the placement line for the firecracker. Up next, you will stitch the firecracker placement line. Then you will place the firecracker leather right side up. I just use fabric. And then you'll stitch the firecracker tack down line. Then you'll trim the material close to the stitch line. 
and then you're going to stitch the firecracker satin outline completing that firecracker in step 20 of Kimberbell's instructions or step 13 on your machine. And here is the satin stitch out on the firecracker. The next step is to stitch out the word sweet. And I'm choosing a red metallic for that. The project by Kimberbell also chooses a red thread. Okay, the word sweet is done. And unless you have a lot of patience in slowing your machine down and waiting for your metallic thread to stitch out on this, uh, you might just want to do non-metallic thread. Uh, it did take a while to stitch out, but it is done. Next step will be the word land. And in the Kimberbell project, it is made uh, with a blue thread. It looks to be more of a light blue thread. I have a, a blue metallic that I'm going to choose here. Uh, and again, you can choose that light blue that the Kimberbell project called for. Metallic thread might make a project sing, but it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, I've just started to stitch the word land and it needs a check. And I almost forgot you'll be stitching of and boy I see I've got a little loop there that I need to take care of. <laughs> All right so we've already stitched the word land then we'll stitch of and be ready for the word liberty. The next step is to stitch out liberty and because I have some metallic gold in there I'm going to do metallic gold thread the Kimberbell project has a different color of blue, a darker blue for the word liberty. I'm choosing gold. I wasn't sure if I would like this gold metallic, but I'm sitting back here looking at this. And boy, this video just doesn't do it justice. It is so, uh, so startlingly metallic. I think I'm going to love it. Okay, Sweet Land of Liberty text block is done. Um, I am going to cut it to the six and a half by six and a half size as directed in the uh, step 26 uh, in the constructions. And you can see I used a, a um, thread that wouldn't strain my eyes to, to find it when I needed to both cut the block with my Kimberbell um, orange pop rulers. So, and it also makes it easier to see to remove. So I'm just going to, well, clearly I didn't get the right size. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, when in doubt, double check everything. This is six and a half by six and a half and uh, it just extends beyond the basting. Remember in the beginning of the video I told you that this basting stitch was just basting around the block and it was a basting stitch that my sh machine determined not anything of Kimberbell's. So I wanted to just point that out um, that this is from my machine basting around the design so you can see how tight it is around the design. Uh, it is not the Kimberbell basting. So the other thing I just wanted to remind you of is I decided not to do any background quilting. Therefore, there's no batting in here. I am going to add batting to the project before I finish it, but not with each individual block.